In a News 12 Connecticut update, today is the first Sunday that you can buy alcohol here in Connecticut. News 12 Connecticut's Anya Winlow, Winslow sorry, joined, is joining us. And you visited Stu Leonard's and it seems like they had a pretty good start to their day. Christy, within the first 20 minutes of opening their doors at 10 a.m., at least a dozen people walked through the store's doors and those we spoke with embraced and liked the change. We are the uh, 49th state to now have Sunday sales. For Connecticut, blue laws no longer reign. Residents can now stock up on wine, beer, and liquor every day of the week. Planning ahead is a thing of the past. It gives me an option. You know, if someone calls on Sunday and says, hey, you want to come over for dinner? I can go somewhere, grab a bottle of wine to take to dinner. There have been many an occasion where we've had to drive to New York to buy um, alcohol on Sundays when stores have been closed. So. It, it's a big convenience for the consumer. Cashing in on the extra day of sales is stirring up excitement among managers at Stu Leonard's Wines in Norwalk. It's our second busiest shopping day, so it's a natural. And now they just come right across the street here and complete their purchases. 28 to two, please. And in some stores like Stu Leonard's, employees are also coming out on top for their Sunday on the job. We pay time and a half like they do in a food store, so it's, you know, a lot of people are happy to, to jump to the cause. And for those of you who like a little bit of trivia, blue laws date back to our Puritan heritage in the 1600s. A state lawmaker says prohibition of Sunday alcohol sales in Connecticut dates back to about 1882. So some fun trivia to go along with those Sunday a lot sales. Of fun trivia. It's all a thing of the past, though. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Anya.